Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to extend the leads of an electrolytic capacitor so you can use it in an enclosure that has limited vertical space. So the first thing I do is I tin the leads of the electrolytic capacitor. Not too much, just a little bit of solder on there. And so this is what I do. now. I wouldn't do this if I was making this professionally or anything like that. I first tin the hookup wire. So get some lead on there. A little excess is good for this just so you don't have to add any additional solder. So hold the wire to the lead of the electrolytic capacitor and come in with your iron, melt the solder hold the lead stationary until the solder becomes solid and then just do the same thing for the positive so this has been tinned come in rest it against the lead of the positive on the electrolytic capacitor heat up both leads holding them flush to one another wait for it to become solid and there you go now I would recommend using some heat shrink tubing after that just to isolate the leads from any other metal objects that may be within the enclosure that you're working with so a heat sink or something like that so get some heat shrink tubing of the proper diameter slide it down over both the leads and the solder joint. Now you may need to clip off some excess solder just so the point doesn't rip through the heat shrink tubing. So just clip that off so that you have a nice flush surface that won't be protruding through the heat shrink tubing. And then come in with whatever heat device you have, whether it's a cigarette lighter or hot air gun or whatever the case may be so just come in and you shouldn't need to hold it on too long and the tubes will shrink down to size and become narrower at the solder joint alright there you go thanks for watching